Okay, it is part two of that tainted Minecraft series thing. I wanted to do another episode straight away, so I'm doing another episode. Cause why not? If so, <laughs> we have it back on tainted again, which you know you should never complain about. Cause we get, hey, we got another baby chicken. Good start to the episode. I bet we're gonna spawn a warden today. <laughs> Yeah, we are back, and if you missed the first episode, we have made our area as safe as possible. There are still those two shriekers, but I still don't know what to do with them. So yeah, they are still there, those two shriekers. I don't know what to do with them. I haven't, obviously, I did the story way after the first, I recorded the first episode, so I haven't seen your comments, obviously. If you do, again, know how to actually deal with two shriekers right beside each other, please let me know. Um, that doesn't involve spawning the warden. That would be very appreciated. I don't particularly want to spawn the warden anytime soon. Because <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm naked. So, it's not a good idea. This is the second night, I believe. Where is it? Day one. It's still saying it's day one. That's interesting. So yeah, this is the deep dark world, aka Tainted Minecraft, where we try and survive in a world with lots of wardens. <laughs> so if you didn't, again, if you didn't watch the first episode, this is literally a world where I set it to just be deep dark. As you can see, it's literally deep dark that we're standing in. It looks like it's a plains, but it's not. <laughs> You can also see underneath my mini map if you can look close enough. It's it's deep dark. The whole world is deep dark, including the ocean. <laughs> so it may look like an ocean, but it's really not. So we need to go mining because we need to get some iron. I think we go mining in this direction. This might be a somewhat decent. I'm seeing some caves. Oh no, that's just the cave that we're in. I swear I can see. So yeah, we do need some iron. So hopefully we can get some pretty soon. Because we need to start food and stuff. If you have any goals of... Uh, I'm guessing that the like, end goals for this are going to be find the warden. <laughs> I haven't actually seen what the nether looks like. I'm assuming it's it, like it's, it's the nether. Like... There's no difference. And if, if you also want to see me actually living in another world, then again, let me know, because I believe that was also possible, considering there is now trees in the nether. So, <laughs> yeah, we might we might be able to do pure living in, in hell. So, yeah, if you want to see that as well, I might do it after Tainted. But right now we're signing up with Tainted, because obviously we got to go for the hardest one first. <laughs> Wait, did I just see... Okay, okay, there's sensors down there. This makes me nervous, and I don't have my headphones on. <laughs> so it's probably not a good idea. So I didn't get blindness, so I'm assuming that it's just sensors and no shriekers down there. Let's see, can we see where this cave is? Okay, cave is right there. It's going that way. It's actually a really good way to find out where caves are. We might have found it. <laughs> oh, you're hiding, are you? <laughs> I didn't know it was there. But he's just hiding. <laughs> yeah, that was the, the only one. So he was he was being a bit sneaky. There's nothing actually here. We got some water dripping down, which means there's water up above. There is a, a sensor there. Just organize my inventory. Didn't set off any sensors. There's a sensor there, I can see it. 
I don't think we're going to get much. Is that a shrieker? No, that's not a shrieker. I don't think we're going to get much iron from doing this type of cave. But <laughs> we, can, we can try. Why are you not allowing me to follow? That's interesting. Uh. Also, if you did. Oh, we got another cave. Uh, if you didn't know, most of this series is going to be me sh uh, sneaking. I think there's also. I probably shouldn't have done that without looking around the corner. <laughs> I didn't make any noise! What are you talking about? So, <laughs> yeah, we have to be stupidly careful in this world. Okay, there's just one sensor. The amount of times that I said sensor and shrieker in the first episode. Because they are the main problems. I'm not going to mine any any of those because you don't know what's around the corner. That is the problem with this series because <laughs> there might be a, a Shriga hidden behind, a, hidden somewhere and you don't know where it is. And you accidentally mine something and then it, you, you set off a warden. So that is 100% the problem with this. And that's an iron there and i'm guessing there's a yep there is indeed a shrieker <laughs> only one don't make noise can i reach it don't make noise i don't know why i'm whispering because i don't have anything that will actually change that i got so nervous then um, we got some nice geodes. Let's just deal with you two. So I don't have to worry about you two. Is this a water cave? Oh, no, that's just a water puddle. It's literally just a puddle. We got some iron. Or a iron. It's always helpful. Okay, there's actually no shriekers here, so I can get those other sensors. You gotta think tactically here. Is there any shriekers nearby that was set off? <laughs> was set off of water. I get so nervous when I break a shriek. Uh, shriek uh, not a shriek, a sensor. I get so confused with them too. Okay, there's one more. Ba, 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 where are you? There we go. So the sensors dealt with in this area. I do like how we're at level 14 already. There's so much copper. I don't want copper, I want iron. Speak of the devil. I, sh I, I don't like this. There's so much taint. I'm going to call it taint because I don't like saying skulk. Skulk is a really weird word. It's a really weird word. Then again, most words are weird. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Got another sensor there. You're the one that went off while I wasn't making any noise whatsoever. But you didn't set anything off. So I'm assuming you're safe. Oh, nice ravine there. Hello. You didn't go off, so I'm assuming there's nothing near you either. I don't think so tact tactically about this. This is going to hurt my head just trying to think up different tactics on how to deal with school. <laughs> senses and shriekers. Okay, we've got another non-tainted cave. Nope, this is a, this is just the cave that we were in. I I'm smart. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Considering who how I am when I play play Minecraft, I'm actually doing pretty good. <laughs> I was expecting to have. Okay, 
I ain't done. I was expecting to have actually set off the warden by now. I don't really want to go all the way down there just to get some iron. Although that is a big patch of iron. We've got so much copper. A ridiculous. Oh, we got my iron. <laughs> the walking path iron, and I didn't even realize it. So, yeah, it's 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 gonna be a pain living in this world because you gotta constantly sneak around everywhere until you deal with all the shriekers and shot and and senses. But once you deal with them, they're fine. Like I'm running around really easy in it right now, just because I sorted out all those blocks. Noise lovers. I'm gonna call them noise lovers from now on. So we pretty much secured this place. Again, one thing that I really like about this is that we don't have to deal with the path, the, the hostile mobs like zombies and stuff. So it's really easy to go mining other than the uh, the noise makers or oh, lovers. Sorry. So they are literally the only problem those sensors uh well sensors and shriekers but the shriekers don't go off without the sensors so <laughs> okay so we can make ourselves a furnace put that right there and then do that you've you're making me some lovely eggs i think the first thing that we need to do is is get a bucket and get some shears <laughs> Because these sheep are going to be my lifeline with this world so much. This whole world is literally going to be covered in, in, in wool. Literally. So, <laughs> that's literally going to be my battle plan with this. Just cover the entire place with wool. We got three, four, quiet hardware. Alright. Let's get our the other bucket so then we can get some water up here and then we can start our farm up here instead of running all the way down there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And there we go. Get some shears. Hello. Get some carpet and then we can put the carpet up here so it's easier to get in and out. Battle plans, guys. This is pure battle plans. <laughs> But as I said in the first episode, as I keep reminding you, there's no hostile mobs and the only way to get bones other than getting bone mill through a bone mill farm is literally through dungeons. It's the only way to do it. And finding dungeons is relatively difficult. So, I mean, just in regular Minecraft, it's difficult. So, yeah. So I, I think we've done a pretty good start. I mean, we haven't set off the warden yet, which is actually really good. So, yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. We've still got to deal with those shriekers over there, which I'm not looking forward to. And so we've got some coal already. We need to swallow the food problem. Because obviously that is going to be a problem. So we're already pretty low. If I make an infinity source up here, I don't have to keep on running down. <laughs> but I think we definitely need to get straight into sorting out. Uh, yeah, I forgot about them. Uh, let's sort out a farm. Other than the one down here. Just one a bit closer to home so I'm not running around and wasting hunger. Um, We obviously need to get geared up. That would be good. And we also need to saw how those do over there. Because they're going to be a bit of a problem. So if we start making farm land. I'm just going to do it around these guys. Um, <laughs> by the way, if these guys die, I'm screwed. Because I'm not going to spawn any more in. Unless completely need it. And you guys actually think, yeah, yeah, you should probably spawn some more in. But right now, I'm leaving it as it is. They are the ones that I will only spawn in. 
Like, I, I literally only spawn, the, spawn these in because there's no other way to get them. <laughs> so, like, there's no villages, there's no natural spawning mobs. It's, it's a bit crazy. So, we're just gonna have to put up with the fact that we've only got those guys. And that's it. If they go, then we're not gonna do so good. Especially the sheep. The sheep are gonna be at 100% lifeline on this. So, yeah. If the sheep go, we're in trouble. We're not even like 100% doo doo, but it'll make things so much more difficult. <laughs> I, ooh, one thing that I could do is actually make a auto wall farm. That would actually be one of the most helpful farms this world will probably get. So what I might do is actually make like a giant wall farm. I think that would be one of the best moves to do on this. So maybe after I do this video, I'll do a bit of grinding. Uh, I'm not looking forward to doing that kind of stuff though. Uh, we'll need to go into another eventually. <laughs> to be honest, I think the nether might be safer than the overworld, even though that's so bad. There's no hostile mobs. So. Yeah, we're just gonna have to be a little bit careful. Obviously, because we're dealing with wardens here. Strongest mob ever created on Minecraft. <laughs> like, there may not be any other hostile mobs, but we've got like unlimited amount of wardens that could spawn anywhere. So, I think that kind of adds up the amount of danger to a normal Minecraft world, to be honest. Like, it would be completely crazy. One thing we also need to get is sugarcane. That would be another s a smart move. You can get sugarcane on here. So, sugarcane does actually grow in the deep dark for some reason. <laughs> but I haven't actually seen any yet. But there is definitely sugarcane. Because, as I said in the first episode, I know I keep referring back, but... I did play test this and I did see sugarcane spawning. So you can get it. Sorry if this is not the most amazing content, it's literally just me filling up holes with water. <laughs> but yeah, it's necessary for what we need. It's so nice being able to walk around at night and not have to deal with hostile mobs. Are you producing any more eggs, chickies? Yes, you are. You're the best chickies ever. Or not, because you're not making hatchable ones. <laughs> okay, so if we put one more here and then we can start um, making some farmland. Let's just get rid of all this grass first. It's so weird living in a warden filled world. Like, I know you can get wardens in like, normal Minecraft, but this, this is different. <laughs> this, this takes Minecraft to a whole other level. Like, it's, it's funny because I, I, I've never played with wardens before and I'm going straight into doing this. So this is interesting for me to do. Because this isn't normally something I jump straight into doing. Like, usually I plan it. <laughs> but no, I'm just going to just fight the warden with my bare fists. <laughs> that would be actually quite an interesting sight. Seeing sophisticated enmity just fighting a warden with my bare hands. Yeah, I'm so OP. So, such, such OP. So, yeah, that will be interesting. Right, I'm gonna start with this farmland down here first. Because it's the least in the way. I like how it's taken me this long in the series already. I know we're only on episode two, but it's taken us this long already just to get 
actually org that's that's a furnace <laughs> just to get organized with like grinding and stuff like the most of the first well the entirety of the first episode was just sorting out the area and making sure it was safe because we don't want no warden spotting on that house that would be a bad idea Right, I'm not going to do anything with the wheat that's already been over there because that's like halfway to being fully grown. Once it's completely grown, I'll bring it up here. There's no, not really much point in bringing it up right now. But yeah, I think I might leave it there guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you, again, if you want to keep seeing the series and have you got any challenges that you want to see me do? Like the obvious ones are obviously going to fight the nether, the, the nether, fight the nether. Oh my god, you can tell that I'm tired today. <laughs> so, fight the warden, probably fight the wither, obviously fight the end, end dragon. So, yeah, those are the, the main ones. So, there's the boss fights. Pro don't think. No, the ocean monuments will not spawn because this. Uh, this this is here right here. This, this this large body of water right here. That is called the deep dog. <laughs> so we're not gonna get any uh, ocean monuments spawning. So we don't have to deal with any guardians, which is actually really helpful. Uh, but not helpful if I want prismarine. <laughs> but yeah, we'll work around that. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I can't cannot remember if I've already said that already. But it's been one of those days. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. And leave those um, suggestions for challenges and stuff in the comments. For now, bye bye. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connections